Today we'll be presenting on suffixes. This is a um, to review. In chapter one, we learned about word families. We learned that just by adding a suffix to the end, we can change its function or the the function of a word from a verb, such as deny, to a noun, such as denial, to an adjective, such as deniable, to an adverb, such as deniably. And then in chapter 2, we learned about negative prefixes. We learned that just by adding a prefix to the beginning of a word, we can make its meaning negative. For example, we learned undeniably. The meaning of nine suffixes. In chapter 4, we will learn the meaning of nine suffixes. And why do I need to learn their meaning? Well... Learning the meaning of suffixes is a good way to expand your vocabulary. And we will learn these suff nine suffixes, all less um, able, eyes, and meant, and, and for. Okay, let's get started. The first one is all, and it means uh, relating to. Its function is an adjective. Some examples are environmental, traditional, and antibacterial. Um, so environmental is relating to the environment, traditional is relating to tradition, and antibacterial is relating to against bacteria. And again, it's a soap, so we say antibacterial soap. It's an adjective, so we say antibacterial soap. It comes before an, an, a noun. Um, then we have less, and it means without, and it's an adjective. So we, for example, we have harmless, without harm, endless, without end, and wireless, without a wire. Um, here's a good example. These are not wireless headphones. It's, it's a wireless mouse. There's no wire. It uses uh, Bluetooth technology. So it's a wireless mouse, mouse not a headphone. Okay, um, then we have able, able, eable, and the meaning is can be, and it's an adjective. For example, likable, which means can be likable, flexible, which means can be flexed, and unreliable, and that um, cannot be relied on. Again, the un means it negates. Um, so here we go, flexible, a flexible phone, see? He's bending the phone. The phone is flexible. It can be flexed. Okay. Um, moving on, then we have eyes. This is cause or to become. It's its meaning. The function is a verb. So we have, for example, modernize. To become modern. Weaponize. To provide weapons. To become weapon. San sanitize. To become sanitary or become clean. Um, so we say, for example, you should sanitize your hands. Uh, and again, sanitize means to become clean. Uh, so you should make your hands clean. All right. Moving on. Then we have en and it makes it a verb. Um, again, its function is the verb. So we have strengthen, soften, sharpen. Um, it takes basically an adjective such as soft and sharp and it makes it a verb and when we have that en we're saying that it makes it sharp it makes it soft it makes it strong okay by the way strength is actually a noun so it makes it strong oh, okay um, so for example you should sharpen your pencil you should make your pencil sharp see the pencil is sharpener Pencil sharpener sharpens the pencil. Moving on. Then we have meant. It's an action, and it usually is the result of an action. And it's a noun. So we have development to become has become the result of developing something. Advancement, the result of advancing. And improvement, the result of improving something. Again, it's the meaning is an action but with the implied meaning of result 
So for example, look at this room. Wow, it's filthy, it's messy, it's dirty. And then this man who owns this room cleaned the room. Well, this is an improvement. Okay, the result of cleaning the room is an improvement. Okay, the result of improving. All right. Um, then we have deforestation. And this is action as a process. Um, excuse me, we have shun with action as a process. And it's a noun. So we have, for example, modernization. The process of making something modern. Sanitation. The process of cleaning something or sanitizing something. And deforestation. The process of cutting down the forest. Um, and again, it's a noun. So we should stop deforestation. And then we have fool. And this one's probably the easiest one. And it means full of. And it's an adjective. And so, for example, we say helpful. It's full of help. Faithful, full of faith, and joyful, full of joy. Um, and it's an adjective, so we would put it before a noun. A joyful child. Okay? The child is full of joy. She is joyful. Okay, So that concludes now that for today. And we learned nine suffixes and the meaning of these suffixes. Um, and if you have any thoughts, questions, concerns, comments please email me and thank you so much for watching please have a nice afternoon